Makaha has always been, God, such a treasure chest of me growing up. You know, as a young kid, you don't understand the treasures or the specialness that, you know, you truly have a place calling home. It's a magical place, you know, again, Makaha and Hawaii, you know, for someone to come and actually see this. And I know people, you know, they come here and they just enjoy and then it changed their whole life. People fly to Hawaii and they see the beauty of what, you know, the swaying palm trees and blue skies and blue oceans, but they don't see the beasts, the hazards, the dangers. Makaha can be interpreted as fierce. We do have a fierce ocean. That ocean can be heavy and it can take your life if you don't know what you're um, dealing with. When I was a rookie lifeguard just out of high school, I was uh, fortunate enough to work with my dad. So uh, my dad was a senior lifeguard at Makaha Beach. It was a day like today where the waves was picking up really big, strong rip current. All of a sudden I heard this scream, this yell. This guy was drowning. And I started running off of the towel, going for this rescue with my rescue tube and fins. Right before I got to the water, my dad whistled. And when he whistles, you know, as all Hawaiian family knows, when your parents whistle, you stop. You know, so I stopped dead in my tracks, looked back, and he's waving back at me, telling me, wait. And then I go, so what? He goes, wait, not yet. All of a sudden, the guy comes right in front of us, and my dad yells, stand up. And the guy goes, what? Stand up. So the guy stands up, and my dad goes, walk towards me. So he walks towards my dad. So my dad puts his hand on the shoulder and goes, before you thank me, thank God. The next thing is to understand what you was in. You was in on rip. So that rip current carried you across. And right when you reach right here, there's a sandbar. So you can reach a sandbar, you can stand up and you can walk out. I never realized at the time that he made the biggest rescue in, in my life teaching that the biggest rescue was to educate them and empowering them with the knowledge. You know, in the ocean, it's all about just being calm and being educated and knowing what to do and when to do things. How to coexist, knowing all the factors of winds, tides, currents, surf, and it's understanding all those things, you know, what to look for, what to watch for. And, and that's where we try to teach people that safety can be attained, you know, by education. And enjoy, have fun. That's what, you know, we do in Makaha. Our whole life is to enjoy and have fun. You know, for us, the ocean has always been a place of, of education, of school, or a place of, you know, worship and church, you know, because when you're out in the water, believe me, you talk to God. You know, my father has always taught us how to coexist with the ocean. For us, it was a playground. You know, whether we're surfing short boards, long boards, Tandem surfing with a partner. Canoe surfing with three other people. Going out in the water in a sub squash. You know, the vehicle we choose in the ocean is really about the fun that we're having out in the water. Um, if you have the knowledge about what the, the energy is doing, you can uh, create all these different, you know, streets and highways out in the ocean. So, you know, for us, it's on playground where other people, it's life and death. You know, water is a, a, a different type of entity. You know, it, it's not a, an island, it's not a rock, it's not a, a static kind of thing. You know, it's a real dynamic environment, you know, so the ocean really moves. Um, guys like Jerry Lopez or Greg Noel or George Downing, they would come down to the beach and they would sit and study the waves before they even paddle out. Not in today's days. They look at the internet, they check their phone, they grab their board and they jump in the water. And that's when, you know, things happen. Your best resource is that local on the beach or especially the lifeguards who are there at the time. You know, so if you go up to a lifeguard and you see one tower, 
ask a lot of questions. What is this sign for? Where is it safe to swim? Where can I swim? How can I enjoy my vacation? You know, most people are trying to fulfill their fantasies, but don't get whacked with reality. Ask them professional, you know, have the right answers, because that's what's gonna help you enjoy your vacation.